Hello, thank you for once again uh, reading my newsletter and watching this video. We are now at about the halfway point of the legislative session. I would like to thank everyone that attended the town hall last night. It was at the Sarah Theater and we had a good crowd. The issues that were on the people's minds and perhaps yours as well was Utah Lake, the death penalty, taxes, and ballot security. Uh, as far as Utah Lake goes, we are working on a bill and or bills that address who has the ability to make decisions on Utah Lake. Uh, some people have emailed me concerned that legislature is going to make development decisions as giving permission for people to build an island and things like that. That's not anything we're going to be addressing this session at all and that will be left up to the Utah Lake Authority. Uh, we talked about the death penalty. There are strong opinions on either side. Uh, the death penalty bill looks like it probably is not going to be passing the House, so we probably won't see it in the Senate. But that will be debated on Monday. We'll see how those votes turn out. For me, I do support the death penalty and do not support uh, doing away with the death penalty in the state of Utah. We talked about ballot security and election integrity. That is a big issue. Should we have mail-in votes? Should we not do mail-in voting anymore? How do, do we do ranked choice voting? Do we not do ranked choice voting? It is an important issue for me. I'm supporting, I'm co-sponsoring a bill with Representative Hawkins, HB 313, that talks about ballot security. I'm also working on a bill that talks about how we fund our municipal elections and how we fund elections in general. So watch for that, that should come out next week. Big important issue for me. We'd also talked about uh, public education and I can't thank the teachers enough for all of the work they've been doing through the pandemic and what they've been doing for our kids. My 10 year old daughter, loves school. My, my junior high student at Dixon loves school and my student at Provo High loves school and that's because of the teachers that are there. We always want to do what we can as a legislature not to get too involved in the education process but we also want to improve education for our students and bringing more transparency to what teachers are teaching and making sure they reflect our values in the community. Please be involved, please email me, please text me. I've had constituents come up and sit on the floor with me this week and I look forward to more dialogue with you and reaching out to you and please reach out to me. Thank you.